Did you know that every four seconds, there is a new version of malware coming out to attack your business? And nowadays, email or phishing attacks is still the biggest cause of security or cyber attacks or breaches within the business. And here are seven red flags that's gonna help you identify possible attacks coming into your business. So the first one is easy to detect. If you look at the from line in the email that's just arrived, have a look at the spelling of the email address. A lot of times the hackers will just leave out one character or change an I to an L. Or other thing you could do is hover over the email address and a lot of times it will display a different email to address to the one that you're reading. The to line, a very quick way because a lot of time the hacker would copy you in on multiple people's email addresses. So have a look at the other email addresses and if you can see that it's different to what you've seen before, press the delete button. Even better than the delete button is the shift delete because shift delete will permanently delete the email whereas delete, only thing that will happen is move the email in your deleted items and one day by mistake you could go in your deleted items and still click on the link and get infected. The third one which I've seen many times is hyperlinks. Email comes in and you see a hyperlink maybe to ask you to do something First thing you do is hover over the hyperlink to make sure that the contents in the thing that pops up is the same as what's written in the hyperlink. If not, press the delete button. The fourth one is time. If you normally get emails from your CEO, you know, during the day, and now all of a sudden he sends you an email at two o'clock in the morning asking you to do a bank transfer, hmm, very dodgy. The fifth one is attachments. How often do we get emails in and there's a zip file or maybe worse, a .exe file, or a .xls, .xls. Look out for these because if you click on them and it opens up, a lot of these files have got built-in viruses or, or malware that will instantly infect your machine. So the rule number one, if in doubt, press the delete button. The sixth one is the subject line. So the email comes in, three things you need to look out for. Number one, does it say transfer money to somewhere? Does it ask you to change your password? Hmm. Or the third one to check for is if the subject line is different to what's actually in the body. There's no common sense between the two. Then you know this is a potential hack and please shift delete. And the final one is the content. Just the other day, we saw an email came through from O2 asking you to change your password. But what this actually was, was just a screen grab from the real login screen where you have to log on to your O2 account to see all your information. So what they do is where the username and password is, that actually links back to like when you fill in to log into or to sign up to a newsletter. So you put your information in, you click on submit. Now they've got the information and they're clever because the next screen redirects you to the original O2 page. You now log on with your real O2 information and you go to your proper page where all your information is on O2. None the wiser that your username and password has just been captured by somebody else. So with content that you're not 100% sure of or weren't expecting the email in the first place, get on the phone and phone the company and just make sure they actually sent the email before you fill any information in. You may have the best firewall in place, you may have the best email scanning and antivirus software in place. But what's most important of all these things is to educate your staff and your colleagues. So please share this video with everybody you care for because it will save them a lot of headache and money.